Hello there, this is Glenn Berry, and I'm back with another video. This time we're going to do an unboxing of an MSI MAG B550 Tomahawk and compare it to the older MSI B450 Tomahawk. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. So let's get started. So this is the new MSI MAG B550 Tomahawk. This is the replacement for the previous B450 Tomahawk. And this just showed up at the Denver Micro Center yesterday. I was really surprised. I went there looking for something else and I saw this on the shelf, so I had to jump on it. This is a little bit more expensive than the B450. The B450 Tomahawk was about $115, and this is about $180. But I think you'll see once we go through all the components that it's worth the extra cost. It's really a much nicer board than the B450. And don't get me wrong, the B450 was a nice board, but this is a step up with much better components overall. This is the older MSI B450 Tomahawk with some items already installed. You can see the M.2 drive, the CPU, and two sticks of DDR4 RAM. We have one PCIe 3.0 X16 slot that connects to the CPU, along with three PCIe 2.0 X1 slots and one PCIe 2.0 X16 slot that connects to the B450 chipset. Make sure you don't put your primary GPU in that slot. Along the right side, there are things like multiple connectors for front panel audio, RGB headers, etc. There are four more SATA 3 ports on this edge. The two SATA ports at the right are the ones that get disabled if you use that M.2 slot. Looking at the rear I.O. ports, there's a BIOS flashback port, two USB 2.0 ports, a PS2 combo port, and then we've got a DVI-D and an HDMI port. We have three more USB Type-A ports in various levels, a gigabit LAN, a USB-C port, and finally the audio ports. This is the new, much improved MSI MAG B550 Tomahawk motherboard. It has one M.2 PCIe 4.0 slot connected to the CPU, and one M.2 NVMe PCIe 3.0 slot connected to the B550 chipset. Both of them have heat sinks. We have one PCIe 4.0 X16 slot connected to the CPU, and then one PCIe 3.0 X16 slot connected to the B550 chipset. There's also two PCIe 3.0 X1 slots. Along the right edge, we have a front panel audio, an RGB header, a sysfan header, a clear CMOS jumper, an LED switch, another sysfan header, and various USB ports and the front panel connectors. At the top, we've got six SATA 3 ports and a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C connector. We also have four more fan connectors and an RGB header. One nice feature you get with a B550 chipset and how it's used on this motherboard is you can use both M.2 slots and all six SATA ports with no conflicts. Looking at the rear panel connectors, we've got a flash BIOS button, two USB 2.0 ports, and a PS2 combo port. And then we have an HDMI port and a display port that are only used with integrated video. There are two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, a 2.5 gig Realtek LAN port. Next is a 1 gig Realtek LAN port, and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, and then one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port. Finally, we have the audio ports, including an SBDIF out port for digital audio. Now let's take a look at what's in the box. First, we have three M.2 screws. This is nice since we get one extra in case you lose one. Next, we have a quick installation guide. This guide is pretty detailed and it's in multiple languages. It includes how to install the CPU and various stock CPU coolers, and also how to install your RAM. Next, it shows how to install the front panel connectors how to install the motherboard, and then the graphics card, and how to install the power supply connectors, connecting your external peripheral devices, your SATA drives, and then finally your M.2 drives. After that, we've got several different pieces of marketing material from MSI. This little brochure shows a bunch of their other gaming products. Then we've got more marketing materials from MSI. Then we've got the all-important case badge. 
Next we have two SATA cables. Then we've got the useless CD-ROM with drivers on it. And finally, this is important, this is the actual motherboard manual. And really you should take a look at this, there's a lot of good information in there. This is Glenn Berry and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video. Thank you.